my question is yes you are watching the different type of things outside and you are also believing that motion of a car motion of a truck at the walking running is exactly a motion yes i agree with you too but motion is relative that means if motion if something is moving with respect to one person the same thing need not to be in motion with respect to the other person let me explain see this diagram carefully it's a bus moving on the road is in motion in the bus there are many passengers i have located two passengers passenger a and passenger b and there is an observer on the road side who is watching the motion of the bus now according to the observer wo what is the state of the passenger a obviously as the bus is in motion in the bus everything should be in motion so according to wo or according to observer according to wo or the observer passenger a a yes is in motion passenger a is in motion passenger a in motion according to observer wo passenger b is also in motion because these two passengers in the same bus now according to b according to b what is the state of the passenger a just think when you are traveling in your school bus sitting next to your friend what is the state of your friend who is sitting next to you yes you are correct rest is state yes so according to b the passenger a is in so is at rest see i have taken the same passenger a in the two cases in one case according to observer o he is in motion in another case according to b he is in rest that means motion is not exactly motion in all the time with all observers for some observer maybe the motion is in motion for some observer the motion is not motion is at rest state so that's why motion is relative a body for somebody it is in motion but it need not be in motion for some other reference as a mother body so that's how we can say that motion is relative one more example i'll give you earth is rotating around the sun so earth is in motion and we are staying on the earth we are standing on the earth. we are living on the earth what is the state of us do you think that we are also moving no at this moment you are watching my video you are at rest state when this video is taken i am also at rest state but earth is rotating so according to us the people standing next to us are at rest state but the same people are observed if they observed from other planet say mars planet now what do you feel yes you are correct as the earth is rotating the person standing on the are living on the, living on the earth are also moving they are in motion so according to earth the persons next to us are rest state but according to mars they are in motion that's where motion is relative now come back to our main topic linear motion so what is linear motion the motion which is in straight line path is called linear motion so straight line path take an example of a car a car is moving on the road on a straight line path then we say that a car is in linear motion a person is walking straight on the road then we say the person is in linear motion so linear motion basically is a straight line path motion straight line path motion now we take this motion in this chapter and we discuss many aspects of it like the different physical quantities which are responsible to describe understand 
this motion. So let us start with the first type of a physical quantity or you can say quantities. Distance versus displacement. Yes. Let us explore. I know that you have got some information or you know some knowledge of distance displacement. But I am giving guarantee that you learn new things by watching this episode. Now, what is distance? What is displacement? So let me explain you with an example. Take a path like this. There's a path. Okay. So there is a car. There is a car moving on the path. So I start from point A, going to point B, going to point C, going to point D and to E is the path. A to E it's going. A to B the distance is 3 meters, B to C is 4 meters, C to D is 6 meters and D to E is again 4 meters. But from A to E, A to E the distance is 7 meters. See the diagram carefully. Now my question is, what is the distance traveled by the car from A to E? From A to E, distance. Tell me. Yes, you are correct. It is nothing but AB plus BC plus CD plus D that is AB is 3 meters plus BC is 4 meters plus CD is 6 meters plus DE is 4 meters. So total how much? 3 plus 4 7, 7 6, 7, 7, 6 13, 13 plus 4 17. It is 17 meters. The distance is 17 meters. Now, coming to displacement. So, what is displacement? To know what is displacement, first of all, you should know what is distance actually. Distance is the total path covered. That's the definition. The total path covered. So, I'm writing here. Total path covered. Means, in what are the direction you are going? In what are the road you are using? All the path you need to consider for the distance. That's why even you have up and downs. Each and up, each up and down we need to consider the total path covered. That's why all the sums you have taken, you got 17 meters. Now displacement is not total path covered, guy. It is the shortest distance between starting and ending point. Shortest distance between starting and ending point. So here starting point is A, ending point is E. So displacement is AE and the shortest distance is 7 meters. Yes, that's the displacement. So displacement is shortest. Shortest distance between A and E. I mean to say between starting and ending point. Okay. One more information. Distance equals 17 meters, displacement is 7 meters. The one more information is distance is a scalar, displacement is a vector. Scalar means it has only magnitude. Remember, so distance is a scalar, only magnitude. Magnitude means number. So 17 is the number, it's only having magnitude. Displacement is a vector. I'm writing here. Vector means it has both magnitude and direction. So when I say magnitude and direction, the magnitude is 7 meters. We have understood. Now what happened to the direction? What is the direction in this case? Yes, you should be very careful that. When I want to take the direction of uh, any body, you need to take the earth directions, north, south, east, west. 
if they don't mention those directions you should say uh, right side left side top bottom or sometimes we say the direction with respect to the x axis with the angle 30 degrees north 30 degrees east 30 degrees west in that way so in this case in this case if you see the shortest distance a to e you can understand that the car is moving towards e towards e that means towards east side east side you can say or right side so this is the direction of this displacement if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbsc syllabus